Hello everyone, Jeff for The Green Review. Cool fall evening, nice warm fire. What could be better than that? Roasted marshmallows. If you're a professional like me, you keep your marshmallow roasting basket handy so that you can roast marshmallows at any time. You have chocolate, graham crackers, marshmallows, wipes to be able to clean stickiness off, and marshmallow forks. Always ready to go. Now, I use a professional marshmallow fork. This one extends. The nice thing about this one, though, is it rotates. I can keep my hand on the wooden handle, not get hot, and just slowly turn the marshmallow. If you're a professional, you'll get one of these. Yeah, also a professional will use the professional size marshmallows. You won't be using those small ones that everybody else uses. You'll be using the professional size ones. Now the key to marshmallow roasting is not the fire. It's the heat. Just like toast turns brown in a toaster without fire, just has heat, marshmallows caramelize their sugars and turn brown with heat. So a lot of people think that the flames are the place to put your marshmallow. Well, your marshmallow is going to burst into flames there as well, and you're going to eat charcoal, and I don't eat charcoal. So, what you do is you use the coals. They're the part that's producing the heat. And we do have a little bit of green wood in here today, so we have a little bit of smoke. And so, but that does make things a little more difficult. What you do is you watch your marshmallow and you just keep one side facing towards it. And then that marshmallow will send out a tiny puff of smoke. And when it does, the sugars have caramelized on that side and turned brown. So all you have to do is watch the marshmallow itself, not the smoke from the fire, but the smoke from the marshmallow. You'll see it at just the right time to be able to turn the marshmallow. So you just keep turning it one side at a time. And as you see that little puff of smoke, you turn the marshmallow. Sometimes it's not completely brown and you have to go back. But usually it'll puff up a nice little puff of smoke right when it's perfectly ready. So I've got a couple of spots here that are just starting I need to go back to. Now you do need to be careful that while you're roasting the sides that the top is not facing into the fire as well and getting completely burnt. That's the spot where you'll suddenly have a flaming torch. Look at this. This marshmallow is really nice and toasty brown. Now the top is still not toasted at all. So we'll be bringing this in towards the heat just to get the top and not the sides. See that? Perfectly roasted marshmallow. Now, the nice thing about using the professional size marshmallows here, I'm gonna get this one just a little bit warmer because it was out into the cool air a little bit. Not enough to caramelize the sugars too much and not have it turn out a little puff of smoke, but just keep it warm. Now, chocolate is very important. You can, of course, use Hershey's chocolate. They do even have pictures of s'mores on the packaging. But I like to use a little more exotic chocolate. Today I have milk toffee crunch and I have dark orange almond. I especially like the dark orange almond. I do like citrus things. And what we do with this is we break off a nice sized piece. And I don't particularly like the cardboard flavor of the graham crackers. So I don't use the graham crackers. I've got my professional sized marshmallow completely light brown around the entire outside. The insides come out. I can replace them with my chocolate and now I can eat the marshmallow and the chocolate together and not have the graham crackers. I do have graham crackers here for the people who do like graham crackers, but that's not me. Mm. <laughs> now this 
makes a crisp fall evening and a warm fire much, much better. What makes it even better from now is to share it with the grandchildren and the rest of the family. And one more bit of professional advice from a professional marshmallow roasting s'mores maker. If you're going to be using the Hershey's chocolate bars, you can use the single serving size, one and a half ounces. Or if you have large group gathering, you can use the professional size, three pound bar, 45 serving chocolate bar for the large groups. This is Jeff with the Green Review. Thanks for watching.